AI Journalism When you think of digital journalism and the downfall of communication, a good example of this would be clickbait. Here's an example where an article is titled, William Shatner says he doesn't have long to live while reflecting on his legacy. But then you click down through the story and find that he's simply speaking of the fact that since he is in his 90s, there are more years in his past than there will probably be in his future. This is an example of bad journalism through a deceptive headline, which we call clickbait. But journalism has gotten far worse than this example. We now have a case where artificial intelligence is writing actual news stories and there is no human editor for accuracy or telling the truth. Russian mercenary leader wants Putin gone as rumors of an internal power grab continues to grow. Story is by Joshua Wilburn of News. As Russia's war with Ukraine enters its second year, many of the nation's higher-ups are continuing to turn against Vladimir Putin. According to recent Kremlin leaks, Wagner Group boss Prigozhin has been discussing the possibility of removing the Russian leader from his post. Now here's what caught my attention and the reason for this video. Olga Lautman revealed that Prigozhin's private army, which Russia has become heavily reliant on, have been unhappy with the leadership, believing there to be little sign of success in their war effort. Now what's wrong about this sentence? This is the third sentence in this article. Now, an editor should have caught this error. Who is Olga Lautman? The reporter did not identify this source. The editor and news agency, new with a Z at the end, they did not identify this source. Who is o Olga Lautman? You would almost think an artificial intelligence had written this story. Over the last year, Prigozhin has become more public and taken on the populist role. He has basically been going after Putin's inner circle, including the defense ministry. She claims the mercenary leader is planning a full-on power grab. Prigozhin is an expert at running the propaganda channels, Olga says. She says that Putin wants to remove the military leader from the equation, but are too reliant on his forces and believe the force would crumble without him. You notice the numerous typographical errors here. There's no editor and you wonder if the journalist himself is a real person. Let's go to their actual news site. This is newz.com, the about page. Even their about page at this news site appears to have been written by an artificial intelligence script. News.com is an innovative service designed to let you consume news from a wide variety of sources, free of the bias and vacuous verticals. This, yeah, mommy. This is the news website that we're to trust war news about regarding Russia and Vladimir Putin. And they're talking about vacuous verticals. Easy to use and free, news offers a constantly updated menu of stories. We link directly to publisher sites fully supporting the work of journalists. We honor original reporting, favoring genuine scoops over crass clickbait. News.com works by combining cutting-edge artificial intelligence with experienced editors. This seems to imply they don't actually have journalists, they just have AI selected by editors. We respect paywalls and want readers to quickly move from our site to the sites of our publishing partners. News is no walled garden. Now think about that for a moment. A human being would not connect the term paywall with walled garden, but to an artificial intelligence script, those two terms appear to be similar in context, walled garden and paywalls. This is what happens when you do not have human beings writing news. Joshua Wilburn, writer for Radar Online and NewZ, he identifies as a screenwriter, streamer, uncle, and Green Day fanatic, he slash him. If you look at the stories that he has as a byline, they're all over the place. He is not an expert in European history. He's not an expert in Vladimir Putin, not an expert in Russia news or Ukraine news. Not an expert in foreign affairs, or NATO, or the European Union, or anything about the historical context of the links between Ukraine and Russia. He's not a World War II expert. He's a news aggregator, so his job is repeating the news that other people have worked on. This story, thanks to news aggregates in 2023, was repeated over and over across the entire United States and outside across the world. Here, Radar Online has an identical 
news aggregate style story, which may have been written by an AI. The nervous Vladimir Putin cuts off communication with mercenary chief Prigozhin in latest power play. Story by Connor Sermonte. Let's take a look at the stories he has here. Jerry Lee Lewis's son evicted from family's ranch after refusing to vacate property following dad's death by Connor Sermonte, Radar Online. This particular gentleman has no expertise with Russia. He's doing stories on musician Jerry Lee Lewis's family. And in his off time, he's passing on important quotes from the leader of Russia, a nuclear-armed superpower which could drop nuclear bombs on all of us. These news aggregate sites, possibly written by AIs, were lifting the original story by the Daily Star of the United Kingdom. In this story, they correctly cite the source of this reporting. Olga Lotman, who hosts the Kremlin File podcast, as well as being a respected academic specializing in Russian affairs, says there is a growing rivalry between Putin and Prigozhin. She says the mercenary boss is plotting a power grab. He is doing it for a power grab, and I think eventually he will challenge Putin. Now, none of these statements sound like any direct quotes. It sounds like speculation. It sounds like something a Hollywood reporter would say about rumors of a favored director or leading actress. This is not journalism, and there are no actual sources for these quotes. It all came from this person here, Olga Lotman, the fall of Putin. Russian politics expert Olga Lotman discusses Russia's failure to defeat Ukraine, the instability of the Russian political system, and more. Olga is a researcher and analyst who has been monitoring Russian and Ukrainian internal politics for years. She is a senior fellow at the Center for European Policy Analysis and the co-host of The Kremlin File, a podcast. She details the rise of Putin and the spread of authoritarianism across the globe, including the Trump White House. She thinks the Trump White House, which has been out of power for years now, symbolizes the rise of authoritarianism. And this is the source that those news aggregates written by artificial intelligence's AI scripts have disseminated to millions of potential readers all over the United States and across the world. This person has provided no evidence that she actually has a single source inside the Kremlin, Russia, or the Russian military. And you may have seen similar stories like this in the past 12 months of this ongoing war. News stories saying Putin dying from Parkinson's disease, Putin soon to be overthrown, and you've seen multiple stories like this that just seem to be put out as a general directive by the Western side as propaganda to help push their narrative. Well, why do we, the West, have a narrative at all? Why is it important for us to spin everything in this uh, war which could have nuclear consequences? I don't have the answer to that, but how artificial intelligences are now writing stories for a real war with real consequences. All that matters is that these stories deliver a revenue stream to the owners of the company in question. NewZ.com is owned by the Empire Media Group. Who owned the Empire Media Group? News Corporation, Fox News, Rupert Murdoch. There are companies in the news business that generate revenue by having artificial intelligences write news stories. We're being lied to by artificial intelligence AI scripts. Who is it that's putting this up on the internet as genuine news? Thank you.